Hey everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, we're heading out to fight the Swine Prince in the Warrens. Pretty cool trinket up for grab, so we'll take a look at if we're successful. Uh, we're taking out a decent amount of food, lots of shovels, some keys, lots of torches, and a uh, little bit of everything else. I'm taking my favorite item, dog treats, so you know, I'm definitely 100% never going to forget to use. So uh, that'll be excellent. We got a pretty good marking party here. Fane, Wraith... Uh, as our Wraith, I should say. Dexter is our Houndmaster. Ariasha is our Falconer. And then Grisham as our Occultist. Uh, all of them have marking synergy. And I feel like for bosses, marks are generally pretty good. I can't remember this guy exactly. But um, I'm hoping that it works out. Oh, I just noticed Fane. We actually have some combat skills that we can upgrade. Let's go ahead and take these ones. And we'll go and redo our provisions here. Roughly, let's do something like this. Couple of these. Lots of medicinal herbs in this area. Couple keys. Some holy waters. And I think that's good. Okay, let's rock and roll. The ways and rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. Is that right? Today's log comes from Alex P., who writes for our Lamia Ariadnes. It's a, fury, or a flurry of claws, fangs, blood, and madness. That's what our last sortie into the cove was like. More like a sortie into our own grave, as it certainly looked by the end that we wouldn't make it out alive. I'm not sure if the Lord of the Manor ordered us to go down there after an especially severe hangover, or if he just wanted to pack all the shapeshifters together and get rid of us in bulk. But I certainly wish there was at least one human with us who wouldn't jump out of his skin all of a sudden. You see, I know I can control myself when I turn into a giant snake, but this doesn't seem to be the case with others, as Deirdre so aptly demonstrated when she bit Charlotte without warning. I wanted to point out to Deirdre that our enemies were in the opposite direction, but at the time it seemed to make no difference to her who to chew on. Yeah, we've had some pretty cool uh, transform parties that have been good and bad. It must be destroyed. Uh, for a boss layout, this is actually pretty good, I think, because he's going to be over in this section. So we'll beeline for that, and then if things go great, we will um, uh, we'll clear out the rest of the place. Pile of bones, holy water, boom. Let's go. I'm always hesitant to take holy water to places outside of the ruins because generally we don't get the opportunity to use them very frequently. Ooh, hello. That's a big scout right there. We could... If we get a scouting on the way here, we can come down south and go over. Or down all the way. We'll see. Okay. Finding so far, we're still alive. Test. It's always nice. Now it must be carried home. In we go. And who is it? Brigands. Okay. I think... Nice. Uh, we don't have a lot of repose here, so not to worry about the AoE stuff. And I think this guy generally we should try and take out because of uh, the stress stuff that he can do. I don't know that we should waste a mark, though. Um, we could drop back here, but we're not going to be able to kill, so we could remove damage protection from him. Let's. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to mark. We're going to mark. All of these guys are going to benefit from this. 70% extra damage. Give him hell, Dexter. Uh, we've got 45 damage on marked here. Armor piercing versus marked, which doesn't really come into play. And then if we change this, we can debuff the speed and dodge, which he doesn't really have a lot of either way. So I think we just keep our own uh, buff there. We could go for bleed on this, but I think we just take the damage. She's still a class. I have to get to know, like, those alternatives that she has. Okay. Damage reflection here because of that cool trinket. Oh, two AoE dodges. And then again, a bunch of damage versus marked. Just crazy. He's got some significant buffs happening here. Um, I think I want to get rid of this weakening curse, perhaps. And maybe grab the pull. Let's drop a missile artillery here. 
could go for the stun, but I think we just try to kill. Press this advantage. Drop decks. Give them no quarter. Two. Two times dodge. Thanks. Not bad, not great. Yeah, all right. You know what? The way that we have our party set up, it's maybe a bit weird. Because I forgot that his skills, he's got to be in that second position to really benefit. Nice crit. We're going to have to organize this party a little bit here, I think. Uh, we can leave the shovel. success. Problem is, I can't really put him in front. Um, I could do something very unorthodox. Get rid of Weakening Curse. And we could unlock a Stun. Or the uh, Sacrificial Stab. And what if we put him in the front? <laughs> this is... I don't This is terrible. I don't like it at all. But um, at least he can use all of his skills from here. And then we have all of our skills from here, including Cry Havoc, which we didn't have before. Uh, Blackjack, we wouldn't have. So maybe unlock Hound's Harry here. And then she's in the back, which is where she operates best from. Flank Gouge doesn't really help. We can maybe do, like, um... Could de-stealth. Let's take this Volley Fury here. Volley Fire or Flurry. It can do Shuffle on skill 2, but on, on uh... Skill one, it's just a damage mob. It hits three. So, okay. Yeah, it's weird. It's definitely weird. Let's go south. Occult scrawlings. This is bad. I don't know if there's... What What could be good on this? I'm going to leave it. First hunger check. Pretty early. This room is scouted. Let's see if we get another scout check here. Unfortunately, no. Are we feeling south or are we feeling west? Let's let's go south. We'll stay torched. Alright, spiders should be no problem. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. These guys all do minimum seven damage, so it shouldn't be too problematic. What's his oh he's surprised, so we'll get to go next. I will stun just in case. Heal wise, we're pretty good. Another okay. One falls. Remind yourself that I'm gonna switch for the Onyx here. And insidious killer. Let's torch up before we head in. I guess I could have kept the uh, holy water for resistances before going in here, and actually. Um, let's camp here and get prepared. We don't need to do any any healing. The battle may yet be won. Let's do this just so we get these guys filled, and then we have the nighttime ambush here. Gives a little stress. Let's let's look for buffs. Minus 25% virtue, or minus 25 stress, minus 25 virtue. Scouting, which doesn't really matter. Here. Accuracy on ranged and crit. Produce a random amount of food. 15% chance monster surprise for four battles is kind of cool. And we get extra accuracy if we do go into stealth mode, which we don't typically use a lot of. And de-stress for two, might as well. I was gonna unlock the uh, Hound Master's Hound's Watch. I think this is a really good one. We should have done that. We have three more. Do we want to take the Virtue Chance Reduction? I think so. Minus 25% stress is nothing to scoff at. And then who else do we want to reduce stress on? Maybe reduce it up here. I feel like this position could backfire on us pretty heavily. And we might have... Okay, yeah. 
The path is clear. So we have the falconer thing. Only the strength to follow it. This is part of her backstory. Um, there's a certain number of these. I don't recall how many, but the more of them we do, the closer we get to kind of defeating it and working through her backstory, which is kind of cool. This guy doesn't have two actions. I don't love that very much. Um, we could try to put bleed on these guys. It's very little, but then his damage would kick in really nicely against bleeding. And then if we mark him as well, it could get pretty solid. Let's see if we can get it. We got the bleed on all. It's good. This guy's relatively slow. We are dark though, so things could hurt. Jeez, the dodge is really nice. Ah, uh, he went up before us? Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Okay. Let's actually mark here. Nice crit, too. No crit. Always hunting for them. Violent Squall. Ouch. Okay, a little shuffle. I can still attack, though, with him. So he gets the bonus now from bleeding and marked, which is what we were going for. That's sick. Does not the cool combo. Bleed. Okay, we're going to have a little bit of healing to do here. Ouch. What's his dodge? 13? There you go. Ariasha, nice crit. Uh, it's a bit risky, but I would like to get a heal off. Wow, overkill much? In the fevered pitch of battle. We could heal here as well, but let's just pick up the kill now. Nice crit, too. Okay. So, Fugitive's Journal. I'm being sent. Push on to the task's end. I'm being sent by Mother on another hunt. This time we're taking one of those exotic women from the east. They're passing, passing through here soon, and I'm in charge of tracking this one. That useless cockroach Ascot is coming along. He's only dead weight to me. He'll be good fodder at the very least. All right. So we get some Talon feathers out of the deal. Um, let's go here and clear this off. Switch for the Talons. I want to try and take the blood, maybe? Let's get rid of the anti-venom. I don't know that we're going to need all this food, but if we do go back and claim the rest of the dungeon, we might want to save that for the checks. So I think this is probably fine. Let's go default party order. I want to change up. Ah, we can leave it where it is. And we'll put you in the front. All right. Stress-wise, we're good. Ah, these guys. Of course, as soon as we get rid of the anti-venom. Good resist. Actually, we should have should have attacked somebody else there. Because if he crit and killed, it would have prevented an action. Um, we can hit the front at reduced damage. Let's just pick up kills now. Jeez, she's critting a lot. Excellent. Look at her crit chances. Let's heal back here. Oh. Grisham's dropped some big heals. You know what that means. When we really need a heal in the boss fight, uh, it's going to be problematic. 8 to 15 seems good on paper. Damn it. I mean, let's use these last three rounds. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was the whole fight. Because now I might regret using that. Let's see if we can stun here. Okay. Well struck. Nice crit again. 31% on her. Look at that. Uh, 
Do I want to try and heal here? Yes, I do. What's Grisham's speed? Seven? This might kill. Yeah, she crit again. All right, that's fine. Maintain the offensive. I thought this was going to be, like, just an exceptional party, and then I realized our positioning is a little bit weird. And now here we are. But I did use dog treats, so we should all be proud. Doing my very best. Okay. Oh, he's got a lot of HP, man. I forgot about what this what this boss was. But I'm pretty confident we ignore this dude. I think. I think this is we I think we ignore him and we focus down the actual boss himself. Uh bleed resist is zero. I wouldn't mind putting that bleed on to get all that extra damage. But that is gonna hit this guy too, so. Holy damn it, that's a lot of damage. Whoa! The stuns. Okay. Obliterate body. Whoa. Now he's going to take some of this back. Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Okay, not great. Uh Not great. Bleed three points around and shuffles. Low damage. I'm gonna go here, I think. It's three to five. We need a heal here, like stat, please. Oh, he's speed 20, so he goes first every time. Oh boy. We have done something bad. Debuff, dodge, and speed. What does he have? None of that. Extra bleed of mount versus marked. Good crit. Pummeling. Oh, we need to go. We need to go, Grisham. Oh, there it is. Nice. Wow. Coming through clutch. All of his heals have been massive. Oh, uh, he's going to be low now, too. Perched at the very of oblivion. Stun resists 100. I'm going to actually keep trying to stack this bleed, I think. We actually we get the 27% bonus. Oh, man. Nice dodge. Doesn't matter. He's marked anyway. Seven. Okay, he's off death's door. I'm actually going to take a little self-heal. Nice job. Oh, jeez. For the slightest lapse in concentration. And these two. Oh! This is bad. A brilliant confluence of skill. I want to get a mark on, but <laughs> I can't. Oh boy. This could be at the end. Oh, he's resisting all of them. Four. I'll take it. Don't bleed. <laughs> this is really bad. This is really bad. He's going to die. He's dead next round. He's dead next round. Holy crap. Is even more horrible do we have to kill him? Oh, we do have to kill him. Hold on. What's his stun? Actually, not too bad. What's our stun chance? 130? His speed is 20. Uh... He's already gone this turn, so these guys will both go. I'm going to heal. That sucked. We've used all our big heals, I can see. 
the wounds of war can be healed. Look at all these. But never <laughs> hidden. Confidence wow. surges as the enemy crumbles. That big attack that he threw down. That was dicey, man. And he resisted, what, three times? Woo. Succubus only. Stun and debuff. Move resist. Um, I In think we should... May we find victory. I think we can try and still fight, maybe? Is that greedy? It's a bit greedy. But we have a lot of food. We could heal along the way. And uh, we'll swap this for now. It's only a 50 stack. Okay. 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 Greed has overtaken. I feel like if we can get like a normal battle, we should be okay, but... A handsome reward. I might be pressing our luck a bit. Well Come on now. Oh, and it's... Uh -huh. This could be pretty bad. This could be pretty bad. Do we try to put a little damage everywhere? Or we just... Let's just keep going for crits, I think. Did not get it that time. Sweet dodge. Um... Try and stun here. Wow, that's insane. Nice dodge, Grisham. Is this the fight where we get the curse? Pre-digestion doesn't give it. Um, Gather the blood does. I'm not sure what skills these guys use to give the curse. Hello. Look at our tanky old cultist. <laughs> yeah. Guys, what am I doing wrong with the falconer? What am I missing? Like, what's going to make her better? Yes, that's pretty good. She, and she has crit a lot. I just kind of feel like an arbalist might be better as a general rule. He only needs one damage. Let's put this on. Continually onslaught. Get that bleed going. Destroy them all. Grisha, man. Wowzers. Damage versus bleed. He does have prot. Now, hold on. She has something... Armor piercing versus marked. All right. Oh, damn. Falls, you know what? I might have wanted to go for the mosquito. Blossoms. I'm not sure what's the better option there, truthfully. There, see, like, those crits are pretty nice, but that's as a result of that huge buff that she's getting. Okay. And stunned. I'm actually going to go for a uh, stress reduction here. Well, he's the one that needed it. Masterfully executed. All right. Highwayman. Damage on ranged. Stun resist. Beaten. Swap this. I mean, I'd love to take portraits, but... Did I get rid of the herbs? There's... The Warrens, man... Pretty good for herbs, generally. Alright, I'm gonna switch this. We're not here for money, really. If we can get heirlooms out of this, I'd be super happy. Another trinket. My god. Tons. Uh, we're pretty healed up. I'm gonna actually ditch this. And I don't see any obstacles. So, I'm going to ditch our shovels for the locket. Okay. I'm going to pop this way, see what the curio is. Yep, 
Yeah, well. The light, the promise of safety. Another one. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. We have enough for two more food checks. We got the surprise. One short. Let's get a big heal back there. Bane hitting hard. That hurts. Literally, Gr Grisham is literally carrying us right now. Okay. Now our marked our damage should be huge. There we go. Okay. So far, the greed is paying off. Success. So I need to start a money stack here. Or is it merely a trick of the light? I need to start a money stack. So let me get rid of this. It's probably the least that I would use out of here. To be fair, I probably won't use any of the common trinkets. More brigands. This table, though... I think we use herbs on this? I think. Let's mark this guy. He buffs his accuracy. Big crits, man. The squad is seeing some monster crits. We try stunning. 130 base. I think Fane probably kills him. In before the whiff. Nice. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate exsanguination. I think that's our first, like, virtue. besides the boss AoE, that's our first AoE that actually landed. We'll just use this for damage. I don't care if he resists. Oh, he got it anyway. Three. This does one. Would have been nice to kill that. Nice dodges. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. It's just like, because it's so consistent. Nice. We're almost down to zero stress. A couple of stress heals here. There's some bandages. And we got food. I could get rid of the uh, some of the herbs, but... Yeah, we go herbs here, I'm sure. There we go. Okay. A bunch of food to keep us going. Uh... Hmm. I'm just holding on to this one portrait because you know as soon as I get rid of this we're going to find more of them and we'll need the stacking space let's get rid of that okay we have enough for quite a few of these three more stress wise I'm actually going to try him he's the only one that we need to reduce this on So far, the greed is paying off. See if he can do this again. There it is, baby. Four. If I remember before our last hit of this fight, we'll snuff. Okay. Surprise? No surprise. All right, we're going to take some stress. We're going to take some stress. 
Both vomit and the drums are problematic. Can't stun that back line. This reduces dodge. Let's put it on uh, the wretch in the back. Such a Ouch. Terrible assault cannot of be course. Syphilis, too. That's a bad one. Syphilis is always bad. I don't think there's any situations in which syphilis is good. The reason I can't right click on my boy. There we go. Accuracy, damage, and HP. Okay. There's one gone. Ouch. Rare miss. Okay, Fane's gonna need some healing here. Five to nine with bleed. Let's actually try a stun here. I don't want this guy adding any more stress. Big crit from Ariasha again. Just killing it. Literally. Hmm. I don't think we need to de-stress when we're this low. Yikes. Okay. Would have been nice to find some anti venom there. So too will resistance. We'll do this. We still have the keys. More heirlooms coming in hot. Nice. Decent haul. And I didn't ah I didn't I didn't kill my torch. Let's do it. We're gonna do a loop like this. Those little efficiency things, they're hard, like, even if I say it beforehand, you just get into the rhythm and you're like, kill, kill, kill. And I'm not really thinking about... Snuffing. And I should. Okay, books, pass. He's got the most stress, so this is pretty free. 90? I like. Depending on what this, uh, what this battle is... Oh, nice, we have two battles. Okay. So depending on what this battle is, we might torch early. Yeah, see, I'm not going to de-stealth here because this guy can crit a lot. He's only got eight, though. Drums of Doom. Nice crit. To the pit. Little bleed. This is still three to five damage. Actually, I should have maybe went for that stun. I should have probably hit the stun there. Oh, yeah, he's not in the right position anyways. Oh, nice crit, Fane. Oh my god. He still gets to attack, but could be worse. I want to snuff this now, because he's going to die in his next turn. Nice crit to finish. Okay, well. As messy as this group kind of looks. Do we just go, like, big boy here? Actually, you know what? Let's, um... I'm going to get rid of the herbs now. We'll grab whatever this curio is. Oh, it's books. Okay, so we're going to torch up. I'm going to food up here. And the spiders, so pretty basic. Should be all right. Executed with impunity. Dodge decks. Be gone, fiend. Oh, the stun crit for the kill. Rarity. And the whiff. Okay, not bad. Still good.
Why not? A trifling victory. Well, but I'd victory say that that went pretty well. There's still this here if we want to get uh, really efficient. Let's go for it. Just waiting to see if anything would respawn, but it seems all right. There's definitely some opportunities for snuffing the torch to get better loot um, on this run. Uh, I want to say this is probably... This is probably herbs, and I don't have any. But I'm pretty sure that we use herbs on almost everything in this area. All right, we're going to ignore that. All right, cool. Not a huge haul money-wise, but that's okay. We got tons of heirlooms out of the deal. And uh, the revered Shashimono, which is, I think, pretty cool. On somebody that just, like, puts out a ton of damage. Our lepers. Um, uh, our wraith, like we saw there. Our thrall. Those type of guys. Manslayer's cool. Elder Slayer's great. The flock. I think I'm okay with these. Only because I kind of want to see that story through. From the falconer. We'll have to get rid of that disease. And Dexter, though. Can you feel it? 100% shards the collected. Between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously tempting thin here. Tempting. It's a veteran run. Kill a Miller. Slayer only. 8% crit versus size 2. Ah, it's so specific. Uh, we would have to take, like... I mean, we have level 3s. We don't have level 4 gear. The farmstead was cool, and we get extra shards. Apparently, the uh, in the Nomad Wagon, I have to look here. I wasn't seeing this before. Comets crashes attract an opportunist who specializes in otherworldly treasure. You can spend crystal shards earned at the farmstead here. Oh, wait. These are actually not that expensive. Oh, cool. Look at that. Antiquarian. If you're carrying shard dust, you have 35 dodge. <laughs> it's pretty wild, actually. Because you just don't want her getting hit, right? Just want to protect her. Abomination. Extra accuracy. Ignores stealth. Extra crit. It's really good for, uh, like, the falconer. The, uh... Anybody with high crit chances. Occultist, extra protection when attacked by husks, minus 20 healing received, 30 protection when attacked by Eldritch. So specific to, I guess, Cove and or the farmstead. Extra stress healing done, extra damage if loud enough in inventory for 10 stress. It's pretty solid. What's that head that we have do? 10 stress, 25 healing done. So this is better in the sense that you get the damage boost from Loudenum. And it doesn't decrease the healing received. Some cool stuff in here. Let's see the more expensive ones. Crusader only. Extra max HP. On attack, random target 5%. Plus 25% skill chance of holy water in inventory. On attack hit, Blight. Whoa. That's cool. So, you make your attack 5% of the time. It looks like it could sway and hit a random target that you're not aiming for. But, when you attack, you're doing 120% Blight chance. For two Blight. For two rounds. On monster kill, buff targets. Oh, yeah. So, these, like, on monster kill trinkets. I guess in a place that's kind of um, continuous, like the farmstead that's where these come into play also the succubus where she can kind of suck damage over time oh these are these are battle based this one whereas this one all monster kill you're just reducing minus two percent stress and you're buffing accuracy on death party stun okay on death party stress so it's a little risky We've had, man, we've had a lot of close calls, but we've thankfully only had one death right now. All right. Um, let me sort out our recruits here. Level zero Lamia, level one 
Antiquarian. Highwayman, Crusader, and Thrall, though. Could be nice. Um, let's sort by class here. We want to take another Thrall. They're really strong. You know, funny enough, our Duchess class, which I love, we haven't been using very much. And I might regret that. I might want to bring those guys soon. Yeah, so we have Mammoth here. Do we want to get a second Thrall? I think... Probably. This is a really good class. Uh, Crusader-wise, I want to say we have three. No, we have two. Can always take another Crusader. Crusaders are always pretty solid. Minus 15 damage. Crit on melee is really good. Accuracy on mark. Yeah. It's pretty solid quirks, too. And then a highwayman. We have two. Jeff and Brooks. We can replace Brooks with uh, Turnabut here. Brooks Layfield. Obsessed with food, and he's a stress eater. <laughs> So, yeah. Okay. Let's get rid of Brooks here. Bring this one in. Shoulders, wild eyes, and, a stumbling and then, I this think I'll bring no in the Thrall. I'm going to bring in the Thrall here instead of the Crusader, just because we only have one. I feel like if we can get, if we have two of each, it's kind of a nice rounded way of doing things. So we'll bring the Thrall in. We have one more slot, so I'm probably going to be extremely picky. To unlock additional... We could actually do trades to max out our roster size. With this many... With this many uh, class types, our roster kind of gets out of control. But uh, give me a second. I'll introduce us to our new Thrall, and I'll set up our next uh, Embark. Okay, everybody. First up, it's our new Thrall. Uh, pretty fitting, actually, if we sort by class, we'll notice... Uh, our other thrall is called Mammoth. Where is he? Where's Mammoth at? Mammoth the Silent. And now, now we have Stone the Brave. How cool is that? That's really neat. Um, Stone the Brave coming in with Tough, which is actually both of these on him are way dangerous. It's only 15% crit multiplier, but if we can stack that with other things, this could, this could boost a little bit. Uh, Calm is not great. This is fine, and this is fine. He's already so slow, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but Stone the Brave. I know not of my life as a child. Visions of smiles, berries, and toys are all I can muster nowadays. But I remember who made me who I am, since I can remember I was made to fight. From mad dogs in the pits, to criminals looking for redemption, to men and women looking for freedom. I beat my way through it all. Even began to make a name for myself. Stone, the man of iron. Even though I was good, I hated it. The bloodshed, the damn thirst, bloodthirsty crowds. It was all meaningless to, all, to us as warriors, as friends. Except him. That bastard loved all of it. Saw it as his birthright. He was good, I will admit. But he was a monster in every sense. The crowd loved him. Saw him as a hero of the people. But we all knew what he really was. I wonder if they were able to clean him up after what happened. <laughs> That's cool, man. Stone the Brave. Welcome, you big, beautiful brute. Happy to have you. Um, okay, so, because we have the town event for extra shards, I, a lot of people were talking in Discord that um, this is pretty intense, this fight against the Miller. Um, so I'm taking out our strong guys. Obviously, we want to take level threes at a minimum. Uh, however, I think taking out um, Sam Rockwell, who we got from that cool uh, Sunward Isles event... Makes a lot of sense. We'll put him in the first position. We're going to turn on the repost and uh, concentrated flame for some damage reflection. Now, I'm thinking about his skills, okay? So we definitely want to have retribution, number one. But I'm also considering uh, going with defender so we can guard an ally. And maybe even buff target. And then we have, like, our basic attack. Now, this does mean that we don't have a stun on him, but we have stuns on the other two. The reason why I say that 
is um, we can benefit from some bonuses here, uh, guarding her if we want. And we can also, there's a trinket. This one, false promises. Extra stress healing done, 15% stress when not guarded. I was kind of thinking maybe we just leave this. We could do some guarding with him if we want, and it buffs his protection, and then we could offset the, the, the downside of false promises. I'm not 100% sure what the best thing is to do there. Um, because we can also use my hero to force a guard by him, which gives him extra damage and accuracy as well. But then I don't really need Defender if we're going to pull that from her. Um, so it's a bit weird. I'm not exactly sure what I should do in that scenario, but I'll think about it before we launch and uh, come to a decision. But that's kind of the rough idea. Uh, if she transforms, he'll be certainly just fine from the third position. And then we've got um, second position with Sam being able to do anything that we really need. We've got um, stuns here. We have a D stealth and we have the party healing to offset her steals. And then ideally, if we can get a couple of these off per battle and just build up her damage to work towards the Miller, then we're going to be in a good spot. So when we get there, we have a ton of damage. Um, we have extra damage versus uh, marked, which we should get because of the sun boost head or the the cushion boost head. So I don't know. I think there's some cool synergies there. Plus, then if we do buff him to to guard, he gets damage versus marked. So I don't know. I think it's cool. <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's terrible. But I try to come up with like some creative little synergies whenever I can. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. Um, so back at base, there's a couple things we need to do. We do have a disease to clear. Let's go ahead and get rid of syphilis. Um, in terms of skills, so if we get to level four... Ooh, if we get to level four, we need, we need seven more portraits. And get six if I trade all of these. And then I could trade... Three of these for one. <laughs> you know what? You don't make friends with salad. So let's um let's do this. Make sure I don't click the wrong thing here. Boom. Level four. That's big too, because that's towards our next level of uh, experience recruits. Uh and now what this means is He's already maxed, but we can take upgrades on all of these guys. I'm hither, I think, is good. Like, I think it's a good skill. It's situational, but... Definitely our heals here. Stun, de-stealth. I'm gonna upgrade her judgment as well, in case we end up... Well, I don't think we can... Because we don't have a, a, a break, right? It's just enemies, enemies, enemies. So I think what we go in with, we can't even switch their skills if we wanted to. Um, and there's value in most of these. This this one's the only one that I'm kind of like, eh. It's very expensive. All right. So we're going to be... We're, we're pretty broke. We're pretty, pretty, pretty broke. Um, but stress-wise, like, we're good. We don't need to do any de-stressing right now. Next big upgrades here and here. Um, but we have it. We're starting to get a group that can go out to do the level 3 runs. Um, we have a lot of level 2s that are going to become level 3 soon. So we'll probably do, like, I'm thinking a, an Antiquarian run soon. Get some cash going again. Uh, we don't camp, right? see here yeah we don't camp so we just have to kill the miller however we do that i don't even really care about this trinket but we're getting double the comets shards so then we could buy some cool trinkets so anyway i'll come up with some provisions again i'm kind of winging it in the farmstead 
Uh, let me know if you guys have any suggestions for like cool parties that we can try or anything that you guys want me to try tackling. Uh, we're going to be moving into mostly veteran runs soon, I would say, and getting more people up to level three, fours, and then taking those on. We have bosses. So after this, assuming we don't have a, a town event that throws us somewhere else, we're going to start going into more bosses. So we'll try and bounce between bosses and clearing so that we can keep things cool. Um, the, whole th the whole point of this campaign is really to have a lot of variety and have a lot of fun in what can be a grindy experience. So I'm liking it a lot so far. I'm really surprised we haven't lost more people, but we have been damn close. We almost lost three on that last mission. Um, and we've had a death door check more often than not as of late. So uh, hope we can keep it going. But uh, yeah, wish me luck. We'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.